from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Well, hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. Greg D has a look at your weather. A bit of a cooler start for us today. First, though, let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. The state just confirmed almost 100 more deaths from COVID-19 and more than 6,000 new infections. A chart shows we've been steadily decreasing in cases for the past four days after hitting almost 9,000 infections last week. Now, here in Tampa Bay, we reported more than 1,200 new cases in the health department's latest report. Most counties were in the double digits. If you're having a tough time with the holidays, the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay wants you to know that they're here to help you. It's preparing for an increase of calls after Thanksgiving. That's on top of the uptick they've been seeing because of the pandemic. The center says everyone's dealing with a lot from the election to COVID-19 and then the holidays, so they're offering advice if you're feeling down. This is a great time for you to think back to around what did you feel like when you when you were happy? What were some of those things that made you feel happy and figuring out how did you go back to that? The center says that taking care of yourself is not selfish. It's necessary. You can call 211 to get connected to the crisis center 24 seven and go to abcactionnews.com slash rebound for even more resources. The Buccaneers lose to the Rams in Monday night football, but today they will serve a bigger purpose. Today is the 14th annual Turkey time with the O line and it's the biggest food distribution to date. They will provide more than 1100 meals thanks to $40,000 in donations from the offensive linemen and from the coaches themselves. They will be giving out meals at the Advent Health Training Center starting at 4.30 this afternoon. As with many events, Thanksgiving is going to be a lot different for companies that help with the less fortunate. Donatello Restaurant has been feeding underserved families in Tampa Bay for 30 years. But this year, instead of eating together, they will hold a drive through dinner pickup happening today. They expect to serve 800 families. That begins at 10.30 this morning. Now here's Greg D with your forecast. And it's going to be a beautiful day for anything outdoors as we head through the day. A little chilly, as uh, James mentioned earlier this morning, but those temperatures are going to warm pretty steadily through the 60s. Uh, I think by 10 o'clock, we're in the low 70s and then should spend the remainder of the afternoon in the very pleasant mid to upper 70s. Dew point temperatures yesterday, we started in the mid to upper 60s. Well, now they're in the mid 50s. It is significantly drier out there. There will be a little bit of a breeze as we go through the afternoon, but much lighter than yesterday. So if you're thinking about going to the beach or doing some boating, conditions really improving on the bays and on the Gulf of Mexico. In terms of cloud cover, not much expected. Maybe a couple of fair weather clouds as we head into the afternoon, and that's just going to make it feel like a beautiful day. We are looking at the Thanksgiving Day holiday forecast, including some rain chances in the seven day. It's posted now in our free app. 